I am Floor, and my house is a junkyard. I have two storage buildings full. I have cars. I have washers. An old dog pen. Old lawnmower, bicycles. Recycle cans. And a bunch of other junk from a storage building. When you come in my house, you can't get in the rooms because all of them is crowded up with stuff. Clothes, books, shoes, wear knots. I'm Lavinia. I'm Flora's daughter. My mom's house is nasty. Can't take a shower, can't take a bath, because there's no hot water heater. The stove is unusable. There's stuff on top of it. It probably doesn't even work anymore because the roaches have gotten in it so bad. The microwave, it works. Roaches get in there as well. There's holes in the walls. We try to cover it up with tape so the roaches won't crawl out of it. At one point, there was so many roaches on the tape, the tape fell off. I sleep in one clean room with me and my daughter and her two kids. Me and my two kids had to move in my mom's house about a year ago because our last house was infested with things. But I mean, it was just kind of like a lose-lose because we moved into a, a more infected house with roaches. My grandkids, when they come in the house, they walk through the little paths to make to the, get to the room where we sleep, watch TV, and do everything that. I stay up most of the night fighting roaches off of my kids, like making sure they're not crawling on them because Mia doesn't like it, Nico doesn't like it. Like, he would wake up crying because they'll be like crawling on him. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, wow, this is a strong group. I can tell by the voices. <laughs> I'm Dorothy Brenninger. I'm a professional organizing expert, and I specialize in hoarding. My plan includes moving the cars, getting in the front door, actually creating a path through this great wall of China that Flora has in her house, pulling the stuff out, and then trying to make sense of the rest of the house. On that note, we are going to get going. So let's head to the cars. Bring along, everybody. <laughs> so let's do it. Grab something and take it away. time we've been able to open this door and get in. What do you say we hit the kitchen? Absolutely, I'm in. Are all of you? Yes. Yeah. Okay, kitchen. Lead the way. Okay, coming out with trash bag number one. Laura, you are a tornado. You are really doing it today, and I'm super proud of you. We're on the home stretch. All right. Yeah. Wow. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, this is nice. 
It's a big the, difference. Oh, wow. Ooh. <laughs> Family, what do you think about what you're seeing here? I love, love it. it. I, I love, it. love it. This is even this is better, better than what I imagined. Now, Flora, I'm particularly interested in your reaction. I mean, this is your house, so tell me what you think when you look in around here. I like it. I got room to move around. Everyone had to slide through it. And not only that, 12 of us are fitting in the room right now. Right. That was not <laughs> something we could do when we started. That's no. absolutely true. Oh, no. <laughs> well, we couldn't even get in that front door, could we? No. This no. is the first time. Being through that no, front door in yeah. probably no, 13 no. years now. Yeah. 13 yeah. years yes. to get through that front door. <laughs> <laughs> and now here we are. In the front room. Yeah. yeah. Able to sit down and breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Laura, this is your new bedroom. Did we get it sort of right for you in yes, terms you of what you like? Yes. This has her name written all over it. All you had to do was just paint it on the wall. <laughs> I'm kind of curious about one other thing. Tell me about the last time you slept in a queen size bed. I said by yeah. three years. Oh, heels. she don't sleep, I sleep. <laughs> I heard Mia say something. What'd you say, Mia? Mia, what did you say that you wanted to see? Can I see my bed? Yes, ma'am, because that's what you're going to stay in. <laughs> I see my bed. Okay. Now you can check it out. Home now. All right. Go right on in. Uh oh. Look, your bed. Go right on in. Oh, <laughs> baby. Go right on in. Uh, walking in and seeing the kids' bedroom and seeing that they're going to have their own bed. It's really special for me because that's what I wanted from the beginning. Oh, Nico, look, Nico, Batman car. <laughs> There's a lot more space for them to play, play with their toys. They don't have to worry about knocking down anything, the roaches crawling on them at night. All of that's gone, all that worry and stress that we had on us about the kids being in the house is all gone. It's the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> this is what my space to come through. Yeah, that's yeah, what it used it's to be, huh? Now. <laughs> Flora, tell me what you want to do with this room. I like baking and cooking and stuff and everything, so I want to bake like cakes, cookies. So I want to get back to doing that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah. Cleaning out the house, I feel like it has brought the family closer together. But the house being clean, we can all get back together and start mending the family. Hi, thanks for being a fan of Hoarders. And subscribe to A&E for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.